Who is the worst bully in your life? But it's not who you think. We're going to talk about it this week on Black's Mail. Welcome to Relaxed Mail. All right, so today uh, I want to talk about bullies. Now, this is not going to be what you're thinking. So before you start running around going, shoot, yeah, down with bullies, pay attention to what I have to say. Now, we all, and, and I, first off, I want to preface, we've all had bullies. Uh, growing up in high school, I, had, I was bullied in high school. Uh, not by many. But then, you know, you had one or two uh, in an elementary class uh, school, you know, had your bullies. Um, heck, I was grown up. Uh, while I was in the Navy, I had an uh, OS1 that loved to torment me. It was his, it, it was the joy he had in his life was to torment me. Now, he was known for, uh, for tormenting several people, uh, my good friend. In the Navy, he was uh, in the same same proverbial boat as I was because he was. If you were a if you were an E one to E three uh, in the Navy, you were his target. Um, but uh, I had the displeasure of having my cot right above his, so I, he was there was always something. <laughs> he was he was always up to something. So, we all have bullies, and bullies, yeah, they are, they can be, they can cause some anguish, they can cause pain, they can cause physical, very real, very physical pain. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing about that that I'm disputing. But today, I want to talk about something that most bullies that uh, society today is talking about are the ones who, you know, they, they're people who are attacking, you know, the gay kid. Uh, they're attacking the transgender kid. They're, you know, not. To, I don't really, honestly, I don't care about that type of bully. That's not what we're talking about today. There's one bully in your life that has been hounding you since you were a little kid. He's still there. He's still around. He is still um, giving you fits, uh, making sure that you have your face planted firmly in the dirt. Um, and that person is is you, really. Um, that You've heard that phrase, I, you are your own worst enemy. And nothing is closer to the truth. You are, um, there's a, a problem called the imposter syndrome. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of it. That is where uh, you start to convince yourself that you're not worthy of the attention that you're getting. You're afraid. People are going to figure out that uh, you don't actually belong there. You've lied for somehow to uh, to get to the position that you're in. Um, that is your bully telling you you're no good. That is your bully being you saying you're not worthy of the attention that you're getting. You are an imposter. How dare you get yourself and bring yourself to this lofty area that you're not worth being in. There are women, not to belittle abused women because that's a horrible thing that happens, but women and men who, uh, there are men who are in abusive relationships too. They run into um, the problem of having people basically, the, their spouse, the abusive spouses they're with, Tell them they're no good. They're pieces of crap. They're you know they're dirt. They they belittle them and abuse them mentally. You have mental and emotional abuse. That abuse is something that you do every day because who would, most of y'all would not allow someone to every day tell you you're a moron. You wouldn't allow somebody every day to tell you you're an idiot. Uh, you are not worth. Uh, you know, you're not, 
You're, you're not worth the attention that you're getting. But yet, you tell yourself that on a almost, if not daily basis. If there's anybody that, when it comes to stop, to stop bullying, the person that you probably want to stop, look at the most, is probably the one that, you look, that looks back at you in the mirror. The one that's tormenting your soul every time you're in the mirror. It's a, it's a problem um, that we all face. I face it all the time. All of a sudden, I'm, I'll go through something. I'm like going, what do I know about leadership? <laughs> I'm trying to figure leadership out myself. Well, but at the same time, I am a leader. I realize that there are people around who look to me to answers, look to uh, me for, for solutions. Um, they want my thoughts, want my opinions, want my uh, insight. Those are all signs of a leader. You have those same signs. You are a leader yourself. I am always talking about being a natural leader. But most of the, re the reason why so many people are not leaders is because they don't believe they are. They don't believe they are worthy of such a lofty, such a lofty position. When leadership is not all, really all that lofty. It's not something that, uh, not something that is that is all that uh, extraordinary, really. Um, yes, there are extraordinary leaders, but being a, a leader of a group is a natural thing. And we keep ourselves down because of our internal bullying. And we keep ourselves from becoming and uh, realizing our hopes and our dreams and our aspirations because we have that bully saying, dude, you are not gonna be a painter. Don't even try. Just go back to your miserable little job where you're going to be stuck at for the rest of your life because you're not going to amount to anything in the world. You have no idea what you're doing. You're an idiot. You're a moron. You know, all these things that you keep telling yourself. Well, guess what? You actually know deep down that that's a lie. Yeah, you may be telling yourself that. You may have the mindset that you don't believe it or that you believe it. And that mindset can be changed. Um, there are uh, there are coaches out there. I coach people for, uh, to to help them with their goal setting and to become to to realize their natural leadership. That's something that you can do on your own. You can pay attention to what you're telling yourself. What narrative are you saying? Are you actually really as dumb as you think you are, or is it that you just did something? You know. You, you weren't paying attention at that moment and you did uh, did a rookie mistake. Guess what? We all do rookie mistakes. I have uh, I drive a semi truck for uh, for uh, as a day job and guess what? I've done stupid. We all have done stupid. It's part of part of being a human. So don't worry about that bully. Tell him get lost or you hear yourself start saying, "Hey man, you hear yourself start talking talking down to yourself. Man, you are not worthy of anything that you're doing you're you know you're god that was that what were you mean by that about that dumb old phrase you know when you say stuff like that very gently very positively very firmly go no it's all right it's cool we i goofed up all right i've learned from it we're not doing it again and carry on you do that enough times and you shut that bully internal bully down He's not going to bother you. Bullies feed off of fear. And the only way they can make the food that they want to feed off of is by making sure you're afraid. Your internal bully does the same thing as that external bully. Somewhere along the way, you've got to bloody that bully's nose for them to realize you're done. This week, pay attention to what you, the, the internal narrative that you tell yourself. If you catch yourself saying putting yourself down calling yourself names very firmly but very calmly you don't have to belittle yourself it's like yo you dumbass look at what you're doing you go oh, what the hey you don't have to do that you can very calmly and very firmly and very uh, in a very matter-of-fact fashion go I screwed up all right what I learned from it I learned a B and C all right let's not do a B and C in, in that order again let's just do B and C next time maybe a won't have, is, is the problem that we caused 
caused it. And you'll learn, you'll build, and you'll grow from that mistake. So, all right, folks, that's all I had for, uh, for this week. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up. Give me a big old thumbs up. If you like uh, this uh, channel, so please subscribe. I could really use some more subscribers. Uh, I have more videos uh, in the uh, in, in the playlist. I also uh, have uh, other videos that I think you may like uh, over on the website of uh, relaxedmail.com. So anyhow, guys, y'all take care. Thank you for watching. We will catch you next week. Have a productive week, a positive week, and we will talk to you next Friday. So until then, have a great week.